Hey, welcome to Balances.com. Today we'd like to give you a, another demonstration in regards to the FXI series from AND. This is one of our best selling precision balances. It has a milligram version and a second unit that goes to 0 0.01 gram. Today's demonstration will be on how to calibrate the FXIN. So this is the legal for trade version of the AND. Um, milligram balance. It's a little bit different, so that's why we're going to do this video. Uh, most of the A and D balances, to calibrate the balance, you simply press the Cal button and the balance calibrates. On this model, it's legal for trade, so they lock it out. That's one of the requirements for legal for trade. So if one sits here and tries to press the Cal key, nothing happens. If this was the non-legal for trade version, you would just simply press the Cal button and you would go through the calibration procedure. So, there's, uh, when you receive a balance with the manual, there'll be an addendum. And this addendum shows that there is a button that must be pressed on the back of the balance in order to get into the Cal mode. So simply you would press this button on the back of the balance while depressing the Cal key to get into the calibration mode. Again, the whole goal for this button in the back is it's required for legal for trade. Weights and measures will end up putting a wire through the back of this balance, so there's no way that you'll ever be able to calibrate the balance once the balance has been placed into service. So, we have here, this is the A&D FX 300i, and I just want to show you the back of the... Um, balance what we have to do. Now on this particular balance uh, it's been configured with the optional let me just take off this splash cover that comes with each of these FXI series. Um, this balance has been configured with the optional USB interface and what I wanted to show is um, well we'll just take that off there's a little flex cable there but there's a button and you're not going to be able to see it underneath this balance Underneath the uh, scale, there's a button you have to press. So it's in the, it's in this corner over here. I don't know if it's your top right or top left hand corner. But anyways, you have to press the button while pressing the cal key. So you have to stick your finger up there and find the button and press it. So let me turn this around. And I have to plug in the balance one more time. And we'll put the draft shield on because that's required. So the balance does its standard countdown functional testing. And it will go to 0.0, .0 after we turn on the balance. So now we'll turn on the balance and you'll notice the balance is 0, 0.00. So it's a milligram balance and you'll notice the last digit here is box. That means it's in the legal for trade mode. The bots means that this is uh, the first two decimal places are the uh, decimal places that are approved, and the last decimal place is the D. So on the back of the balance, I'm going to press that button that's hidden underneath there. While holding it, you'll hear the little beep. You want to press at the same time the Cal button. And you'll notice it went to Cal out and then Cal zero. So simply to stop the calibration, you are at Cal zero. You press the sample key and the sample key will flash 100. So this balance right now is set up to calibrate with a 100 gram calibration mass. So if you want to change that, you can hit the re-zero key and you'll notice you now can calibrate the balance with a 200 gram weight. You can press the zero key again. You can calibrate it with a 300 gram weight. You can press it again. It's a 50 gram calibration weight. So on this particular balance, I have a 100 gram calibration mass. So I'm going to set it to 100. So now it's flashing 100 and we need to store that value. To store the value on this balance, you're going to press the print key. And so now we've stored the 100 and we're back at Cal 0. 
To stop the calibration, we want to press the print key and it goes from Cal Zero and you will now see this little arrow in the top corner, it's storing the zero reference voltage. Now it flashes 100. So now we need to get a 100 gram calibration mask. So we have a nice, this is a uh, from Tromner. We sell these. These are the class one calibration weights. And so we have to put the glove on, put the calibration weight right in the center of the balance. It shows 100 right now on the display. And now we have to press the print button to store that value. So you'll notice again, we're getting a stable reading and it's storing the 100 gram weight. It says Cal, it says N now. And so all you have to do is remove the 100 gram calibration weight. The balance returns to zero and we'll tear out the balance. the weight back on and there you go your balance is calibrated again this calibration procedure is for the AND FXI series that's legal for trade all the rest of the balances you would just simply press the cal button and then the print button so this is our demonstration for calibration of the AND FXI legal for trade balance these are always in stock, and we have a great price. Visit balances.com. The calibration weights are optional accessories. They must be purchased separately, and there is a lead time because they do have, uh, they come with a traceability certificate if you order that, or a NAV Lab certificate. There's two different certificates. Thank you for your time, and please consider the A&D when you're looking for a precision balance for your laboratory.